But we begin with that breaking news. We've been following in Kirk County where a small plane has crashed, killing all six people on board. Now, according to the FAA, this twin-engine Beechcraft BE-58 departed from the West Houston Airport and went down just before 9 o'clock this morning as it was trying to land at Kerrville Municipal Airport. We have team coverage for you tonight, beginning with our Sophia Ojeda, who is joining us live now near the scene. Sophia? Yeah, Bill and Lauren, the Department of Public Safety has confirmed that all six people on board were killed in that crash. The victims, though, were no, there were no children on board. The victims were all adults. Take a look at this area here of the crash site in Kerr County. We cannot see where the wreckage is from here. DPS officials said the twin-engine Beechcraft BE-58 plane crashed in an open area with no trees but a hilly and rocky terrain near a ravine. This crash site is about six miles away from the Kerrville Municipal Airport. Uh, here's what we know so far. The FAA says the twin engine plane departed this morning from West Houston Airport just outside of Houston. The plane later crashed on a privately owned ranch around 9 o'clock this morning here in Kerrville. FAA and DPS officials say there were six people on board that plane, including the pilot. Again, we know they were all adults, no children, and all six were killed in that crash. We do not know the identities of the people on board or how they are all connected at this point. Officials could not confirm if any of the victims were from Houston either, but we do know the plane is owned and registered to someone out of Houston and that the flight originated from the West Houston Airport. The FAA just got to the crash site this afternoon. They're doing their investigative procedures and, uh, you know, we're uh, trying to identify uh, the people involved and make some uh, notifications to family members and things like that. FAA officials say the plane crashed as it was getting ready to land at the Kerrville Municipal Airport. That is about six miles away. NTSB officials are heading here now, and we are hoping to learn more about the victims and exactly what caused that plane to go down. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we spoke with uh, an eyewitness to that plane crash. We'll have more from that eyewitness coming up. Reporting live in Kerrville, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News.